Hi, I hope you find this video helpful as you begin to embark on designing a research project that is useful in daily life. By now, you should be able to choose a topic, formulate the research problem, and draft the specific research questions with the help of this video and Module 3. As much as possible, choose a topic that is related to your field. As we experience transition in many ways, in many processes nowadays, information from descriptive research will prove to be beneficial in decision making, in policy making, as well as when proposing innovations. Now, you may be asking, what topic should we work on? While I may make suggestions, the choice is up to you. Some sources of topics you may want to look into are pressing issues on an individual, organizational, or societal level. Observe your immediate community, at home, school, neighborhood, etc. Are there pressing issues or problematic situations? Wide reading or critical film viewing. Read about the latest trends in your field. Check out some movies that may have probably raised some issues related to your field. Replication. You come across a study and it interests you. You'd like to find out whether the conclusions will be the same for your group of people. You may replicate that study. Lectures, talks, seminars, TED Talks, vlogs, or webinars may have mentioned or raised certain concerns related to your field. You may work on that. Allow me to suggest working on a topic related to the 17 Sustainable Development Goals as these are pressing matters that concern us all. You may choose one SDG, preferably related to your field or to your community, and conduct a descriptive study on that. This will not only increase your understanding or your awareness about these global concerns, your study may actually prove to be useful in the attempt to achieve sustainable development in our country and around the globe. For as Wendell Berry puts it, the earth is what we all have in common. Again, when deciding on a topic for your research project, consider number one, your reason or purpose for conducting research, your community or field, the specific type of study you want or are willing to work on, the significance or benefits of your study, and of course, the feasibility of your study. With all the limitations we have right now due to the pandemic, you should be careful to ask the question, can I do this? Can we do this? All right, so there you have it. Designing a research useful in daily life. More videos will be posted to guide you as you work on your research project. See ya!